I'm very excited to announce and release Hindsight version 2.0. There's some other videos on my channel that go over the basic operation, um, the general operation for version 1, and not much has changed in that regard. This video will focus on everything that has changed in version 2. So let's go ahead and capture a 4-bar loop and talk about one of the major additions, which is this section here in the middle where you can switch between grain and tape mode. In tape mode, it's a traditional type of pitch shifting where if you want to go up an octave, you double the speed. If you want to go down an octave, you have the speed. But when in grain mode, you can shift the pitch independently of the speed. You can go up an octave, down an octave. You can double the speed, have the speed, um, or play it really slow or really fast. Um, frequency controls how often grains are spawned. So you can start hearing the individual grains there. Um, density controls the length and the overlap. Higher values are way more dense. Um, higher frequency values you can get some kind of distinct pitches and stuff and by adding randomness with the flux you can get around some of those artifacts uh, you can the the grain mode also obeys like the reverse and the loop modifications where you could just play one section of the loop uh, you can choose different lengths and different parts of the buffer, find something we like. It sounds pretty cool. Um, and then we could add in the stutter engine. So you can hear that dancing around. You can hear how you can get into some pretty interesting textural areas fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and zero this out and talk about the next main addition, which is the built-in effects. So to expose the effects section, you click on the FX button, and we have an effects section for each of our three audio sources, the input, the loop, and the stutter. So let's just start passing some audio through this, and I'll walk through the different effects we have. We have a bit crusher here. We have a morphing filter here. Uh, right now it's in low pass mode. It has a resonance and frequency control. Uh, and the morph control changes from a low pass at zero to a high pass at one. And in the middle, it's something kind of like a band pass. Uh, we have a reverb that can be either pre or post delay. Uh, you control the amount of signal sent to the reverb with that parameter there. All of these reverb parameters are global, but each audio source has its own reverb. Uh, we have a delay, and these sync values are relative to the length as defined by the division. So at one, it's one division's length. Uh, if you go to two, it's two divisions up to times eight, and then you can also go below that. that some weird like comb filtery stuff and each effect can be sequenced so if we turn on sequencer control open our bit crusher randomize that let's make this a little bit shorter uh, maybe have it play at a different rate than the loop and slew controls how the parameters uh, basically smoothing so at the minimum value it's almost instantaneous 
and at one it's the entire length of the step. Let's put it somewhere in the middle. And let's just start sequencing all these effects and just get a little crazy with it. Let's sequence the verb. Turn that on. Let's sequence the delay times. It's gonna get a little crazy, but for demonstration purposes, I think this will do. And so since we're processing the incoming signal, all of these is getting recorded into our loop. So we could, you know, capture what we've done here and maybe, you know, slow it down. Maybe pitch it up and kind of. And then if we wanted to, we could go in and send some of this to the verb. Send it into the delay a bit. So all of the effects have identical controls, so that overview will hold true for all of them. All of the effects have their own sequence, um, and each sequencer can run at a different time than the other one, so you can get some pretty nice, interesting, evolving textures and stuff like that. Um, so that is a... Uh, basic overview on hindsight 2.0 and i'd like to thank everyone for their support and interest in this project it, it means a lot um and it'll be available now for 15 dollars for new year user 15 dollars for new users and uh five dollar upgrade for people that have purchased version one thanks again for checking this out um hope you enjoy it